What is going on, nerds and nerdettes? It's your boy, Stevie B, with another haul video. And before I get into the haul video, I'm gonna pull a I'm gonna pull a rude planet on you and give you one of those long, drawn out monologues. <laughs> no, I'm gonna try to keep it short. I really am. I really am. A um, few things happened this week that I wanted to discuss with y'all, talk about. Uh, number one, let's start off on a positive. Your boy Stevie B has finally, finally got high-speed internet to his house. We've got fiber optics. Fiber optics, oh my gosh, so much quicker. So you know what that means. I am going to knock the dust off the old, uh, off the old laptop. We're going to fire that thing up again. We're going to see how bad it can the quality is i'm hoping it's good enough it's good enough because I, I really 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 want to be able to uh live stream and have some guests on um but i have it's not going to happen tomorrow it's it's going to take me some uh getting used to i haven't had a computer now this phone has been my computer for years and i've had that laptop and i haven't had the I've played with it a little bit, but I'm not real familiar with StreamYard, so I'm a little. I got. I want to familiarize myself with it, so you'll see a lot of mistakes happen in you know in the learning process. That's driving me nuts. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to sit up, so I'm, my head's in frame. There we go. But anyway, but I do have high speed internet now, so um, I'm, I'm working hard to do things on this channel that I've been saying I want to do, and then I. And I haven't got around to doing, but we're going to give it a shot. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, nextly, what I want to talk about is the big news that dropped. Robin wasn't good enough. So now Jonathan Kent has come out as being bisexual. I'm not as mad about the Jonathan Kent thing as I was the Robin thing. And here's why I say Robin, the Tim Drake and here's why um jonathan kent even though he aged you know 20 years in a year um which is ri just ridiculous um even and they're still making super sons right now so it's like oh my god get with it talk about putting your foot on the gas to hurry a storyline along but anyway i'm not as mad about this the john kent as i was the tim drake because john kent is still a developing character so um i said in the last one if you want a bisexual character make a bisexual character quit jacking with established characters okay well that's what they did they took a character that wasn't as established you know uh john kent <clears throat> been around for a couple of years but he hasn't really <clears throat> you know he hasn't really been developed fully as a character so if you make him bisexual fine that's that's great um the timing is a little suspect i'm gonna say uh you know right after you just did robin you're gonna, now you're gonna do jonathan kent so i'm thinking oh my god tell me are they setting up for a romance between jonathan kent and tim drake please don't <laughs> just just please don't but um, anyway, it is what it is. I don't have as big a problem with that as I did. The Tim Drake thing, he was an established character, and it just doesn't make any sense for him to wake up one day and say, oh, hey, by the way, you know, it doesn't work that way. So that one was a little more cringeworthy. This one, not so much. It doesn't bother me that much. Um, will I pick up a copy of the book? Probably. I'll probably keep pick it up because it's still, a, it's still a, uh, it's going to be considered a landmark, uh, you know, uh, issue. So I will pick one up and to be perfectly honest with you, I'll probably sit on it and turn around and sell it. Just there you go. But not because I'm of the thing, but because I'm not really collecting superman stuff so 
anyway, but I, I don't have a problem with using it to get to a higher goal, um, you know, and purchase a book that I am collecting. You know, I'm still after some relatively small keys that, that I just haven't been able to pull the trigger on, like um, the first Sinister. I'd like to get a copy of that. A um, few other ones. But anyway, I'm going to try not to drag this out too. That is my thoughts on the on, on John Kent bisexual thing. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. Um, but next up, the Venom movie. I finally went and saw the Venom movie um, yesterday as of this, you know, I'm filming this on a Tuesday. So uh, if it goes up, today maybe if i get time if not it'll probably be wednesday but anyway i did go see the venom movie i ain't gonna spoil it for you i'm not gonna drop any spoilers like someone did on instagram for me you know they they dropped the big bomb and spoiled the big bomb that they dropped on everybody in it i'm not gonna do that here if you've seen it you already know what it is if you haven't seen it you already knew it was coming but anyway um far as the movie goes, the, the first Venom movie I liked except for one thing. There was one thing about the Venom movie that I didn't like. And it was the interaction between Eddie Brock and the Venom character. It was cheesy and corny. Um, it, was, it, it was funny in short doses. You know, um, like when he try to get him to jump out the window and Eddie Brock would and then he called him a pussy. That was funny. Okay. But the basic interaction between the two wasn't like a uh, interaction between, you know, uh, something that like I would, I would, I would compare to like a, like a, a demon possession almost, you know, it's not the interaction you would speak expect from something like that it it was more like a married couple arguing with each other but you could only see one i would have been fine without the inner dialogue between the two um and 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 figuring out another way with it but carnage uh, let there be carnage uh, the sequel it took everything i the one thing i didn't like about the first venom movie and and multiplied it by a hundred. The whole thing is those two bickering back and forth, kind of like me and Squatch, but not as funny. Um, it it was off putting, and and quite frankly, it 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 takes away from the intimidation of Venom. Venom is supposed to be intimidating, and and they domesticated him, and it's and it's it's just not. It, it's just cringy and it's not funny um it's you know watching venom tentacles shoot out eddie's back to make breakfast and dinner and 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 you know and do shit like that it's and argue with him about wanting to bite people's heads off through the whole freaking movie i mean that's all they talked about the whole movie is i should be able to bite people's heads off um it was kind of off-putting carnage woody harrelson um, was great. I love the way they did Carnage. That interaction was a little more realistic than the Venom Eddie Brock interactions. Um, so I, I dug Carnage. So that part of the movie was was okay. Um, overall, I would give the movie a C. It was it was okay. It did not live up to the hype uh, that it could have. Um, uh, it wasn't horrible. It wasn't a dumpster fire, but it, it could have been so much better, I think. Um, be happy to to see uh, eventually at some point. I know you know they're going to cross them over somewhere. So I'll be, I'll be glad when that happens. Maybe it'll be better. But for now, it, it, it's, it, was, it was just kind of kind of cheesy, a little corny in, in, in places, but wasn't too bad. Um, like I said, I'll probably buy it when it comes out just on, on Blu-ray just to have it, but um, not not one of my favorite superhero movies. But anyway, so there's my little, uh, there's my little uh, review of, of 
Venom, Let There Be Carnage. So now let's get into the haul. Um, we're 10 minutes in and I'm just now getting to the comic books. Man, Matt, how do you do it? I don't know how Matt does it over at Rude Planet, but we're going to give it a shot. All right, first up from my Midtown collection is uh, Lucky Devil number three. If you're not picking this up, it's a fantastic read. Um, basically, a guy's possessed by the devil. And the devil does not shoot tentacles out of his back and make breakfast. So, <laughs> but he was possessed by the devil, uh, exercised the devil, but retained the powers that he got from the devil. So it's kind of interesting. And on my quest to make sure that I do not skip out on the cheesiest corn dog books that I could possibly find because those seem to be the ones that blow up in value. I did it with Stray Dogs. I was like, ah, Stray Dogs sounds corny and cheesy. So I didn't get it. And But anyway, so this one was just a spec from Aftershock Comics. Just Chicken Devil. <laughs> because... Because it's just stupid enough to work. <laughs> that, that's basically... I haven't read it. I probably won't read it, to be honest with you. But unless everybody comes back and go, Oh my God, have you read Chicken Devil? But, you know, by this time next week, Netflix will have optioned it for a series. So, there you go. And I've been picking these up. I, I can't remember how many more of these, if this is the last one, or if there's one more or, or three. If there's, I don't, can't remember if there's five or eight of these or something, but... Uh, Lobo and Crush. See, now, they're Crush. They made her. Started off, her character was what she was when she started off. They didn't force it down your, down your throat and at a later time. It wasn't forced. It was just organic. And that's how you do that. But and I like that character crush, so there you go. But then we next we picked up the Joker presents a puzzle box issue number three with this uh Riley Brown cover. Um, so yeah, I'm honestly, I haven't read it. I'm gonna wait till I get them all and then may, maybe read it. I'm getting a little burned out on Joker books, to be honest with you. Um, I'm about to drop the main title, and I don't know if I'll pick up another another one of these mini series. Um, but this one's kind of catching fire. Everybody's digging on this. Um, but this is Last House on the Lake, number five, or Last House on the Lake. I keep calling it that because there's a horror movie. But the Nice House on the Lake, number five. So, been picking all those up, picking all these up. You know, I don't have any Deadpool uh, ongoings in my collection because I, uh, I always feel like I don't want to jump on in the middle of something. So, to catch one of these little minis and doing the black, white, and blood thing, which is popular now. So, I've been picking up the Deadpool, black, white, and blood. So, there you go. And these, I'm so happy to get i i don't know how many more there are of this either i can't remember this is issue number five of the conjuring love to death but um the lover number five conjuring the lover number five love that movie was happy to see that been picking up these i'll probably do five and then drop it and let and Unless something happens. But uh, last book you'll ever read, number three. It's actually maybe a mini, so I may just get them all. I think it's a mini series. I don't think it's an ongoing. But last book you'll ever read, number three. I know what you're thinking. Yes, that is not the cover. <laughs> but anyway, and next up, we got The Dark Ages, number two. That's the first cover appearance of the Venom Carnage symbiote that that uh, Miles Morales is, has uh, 
acquired. So I thought I'd pick one of those up. Again, you all know me. Sucker for the for the symbiote stuff. Next up, Star Wars High Republic Adventures. Number nine. This is the first appearance of the Krill Sisters. And next is uh, Arkham City, The Order of the World, one of six. I got the free comic book day of this one. I, I think I may have mislabeled this one. I thought this was the first appearance of Panda Girl, but I think it was... I think it was the free comic book day one that was actually the first appearance. Anyway, I'm going to check it out. It's Arkham City. Um, it's a six piece, so I'll probably get all six of these. Just check them out. And last but not least, did not come from, from uh, eBay. This is actually a dollar bin find as I was scouring dollar bins for books for our next episode of Dollar Bin Trolls. I stumbled onto this one, which I thought was cool, and I thought I'd get. Um, not a big banger of a book, but um, you never know. And it's uh, <clears throat> part of a miniseries. It's The Ray, number one. And it's the first appearance of um, the Ray, the Ray Terrell, the son of the original Ray, but Ray Terrell. The, son of, uh, the original was Happy, Happy Terrell. I, get, I think. Um, anyway, this is his son, Ray Terrell. Uh, first appearance of him as the Ray. So there you have it. Um, but uh, not, nothing real mind-blowing this week. Um, again, just more stuff for my PC than a, I didn't really catch any, not a whole lot of key books or big books that I could find. Um, but still, what are you going to do? Can't bring in the big guns every time. But that is going to do it for my haul video. I think, uh, I think I'm going to, uh, do a action figure, un uh, not really an unboxing, but a, a haul video on my action figures that I picked up and, and do that one in an upcoming video and maybe give a little tour of my action figures get to flip the camera over and and uh show the other the other display wall y'all have seen this one but y'all don't get to see if i can nothing boom yeah so maybe a good chance to show off my a little bit of my statues and my action figure collections so tune in for that uh but that is going to do it for this week's haul video. I got it in under 20 minutes, so not too bad. So before you go, please like my shit, comment on my shit, subscribe to my shit, and damn it, hit that bell so you don't miss my new shit. We'll see you guys in the next shit. Peace.